so I want to give a quick thanks to a thousand subscribers. That is amazing. I'm so stoked that that has happened. Um, I'm just, wow, honestly, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate y'all more than you know. Um, I love having conversations with a few of you that are in my comment section, so thank you so much. Um, I love hearing about y'all, and I'm just so thankful that um, you're following me along on my journey. Um, I didn't know who was going to be watching my videos. Um, was Honestly, didn't really think I was going to get that many people. I didn't even think my family was going to watch them, but I've been surprised. So I'm very, very thankful for all of y'all. So, um, <laughs> I appreciate y'all. So thanks. <laughs>and that was because it takes me a little bit to um it took me a little bit to get used to this it's rude um it takes me a little bit to kind of like how do i say this the videos that you're going to be watching are um, some you've already seen, um, but they're mostly Instagram videos, um, meaning like I filmed it upright so there's going to be black bars on the side of the video. I apologize, but um, I was just like taking the videos to document stuff. I wasn't planning on putting it in videos, but now I am, so sorry. Right now you're watching the first ever video I filmed of my My Clinic Jerks. In the video I'm on Skype so I'm talking to somebody else if you were wondering. But um, I wanted to point out that in my chest um, it's very noticeable that you can see the spasm. Here's a close-up of that. Now we're watching my My Clinic Jerks video. Um, I renamed it though because these are not my iconic jerks, these are ticks. Um, <laughs> just wanted to point out that this is actual auditory ticks. Originally I thought I was making the noise because of how bad they hurt, but um, it's a tick in itself. So here I'm just editing a video and I decided to put my phone up record myself. So this is what you're seeing now. <laughs> this is the end of May. Literally overnight I started screaming the word no and this is an Instagram video. No. Watching now. That'll be <laughs> basically the rest that you're seeing your Instagram no. videos. Watching TV really causes me to tick a lot, so trying to concentrate and hear what I'm actually trying to listen is super hard, and it's really frustrating. But um, subtitles help, and if I need to watch the episode again, I always do. Going back to our original plan, we'll drive east. No! 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 Gonna get her in. No! Let's go. No! Oh, God. What? 
How do we? I'm apprehensive of posting this because it doesn't look like I'm paying attention to driving too much, but I totally am, no, I promise you. No, I'm very safe driving. No, but no. this is me driving where my ticks start. When this no, happens, I pull over no. as soon as possible. No. This is the first time I've gone in public that's like not a doctor's office with my ticks being this noticeable and loud. And this was Walmart. <laughs> I got a lot of strange looks. This was recorded about six days ago. I already had facial tics, but these were bothering me. I particularly think they look pretty weird. Um, my dad thinks I look like a bunny though. I haven't cried over tics in a long time, but um, this one particularly did make me cry when I first started doing it because I just think it makes my face look so ugly. So that was me going over about 10 months um, worth of time pretty much um, I've been having these for longer than that but we I wasn't like you know as I said earlier um, paying attention to I wasn't paying attention to them too much they were very small and I could ignore them because they were like my body moving a centimeter like for instance my finger would jump up just a little bit you know or my arm would move just a little bit and it'd be something I could shrug off it was nothing that embarrassed me or um, wasn't obvious to other people it was more of like a lace it was more of like a leg spasm or a twitch so I would say these have been coming on they, this has been going on for at least a year I think it's been going on longer though um, because I can remember some um, involuntary movements happening at a restaurant once when I was in about middle school I want to say but um, I, we can't really totally verify, verify that because we don't know if it was a cold shiver or if it was um, I'm saying that because that's what I thought it was at the time I thought it was like a cold shiver like you know when you get cold or something and you shake um, it possibly could have been a tick it possibly could have been a cold shiver I can't I, I re we really don't know there's no way to know um, but I do feel like it possibly was you know because like the re and the reason I think that is because I was made fun of for it so it obviously didn't look too much like a cold shiver if that makes sense Oscar is on my table so if you hear him behind you I'm sorry but um, before I go, I want to talk about emotionally how I'm dealing with this tick disorder, um, especially being undiagnosed. Um, it's very hard um, because when I go out places and people are asking me, like, why are you making those noises? Like, for instance, Walmart or like when I went to Best Buy, if somebody would a have asked me what was I saying or like what was I doing, I would have told them threats. Um, but see, that's not official. We it it's uh, it's most likely some tick disorder because that's what last was told to me by a doctor. And um, with my own research, it fits the best. And Tourette's can be self-diagnosed. Um, I know a self-diagnosis is not a firm diagnosis, though. And I'm not self-diagnosing -diagno myself. Don't worry. That's why I'm going to a doctor um, because I need help. You know, get a good diagnosis. I can read online all I want, but um, I need help from a doctor. So, um, you know, Cantrell's last thing she said was it's most likely a tick disorder or something, but um, she wasn't too um, informed on tick disorders, obviously. That's why she sent me to somebody else. And um, right after she like referred me to somebody else was when the um incident i guess you could say happened with her gaslighting me again she's gaslighted me several different times um that were small and um it's very hard to notice you're being gaslighted in the moment because it's a manipulation tactic and people that are doing it might not even know they're doing it some might some don't it's its whole purpose is to question you um, you know, when she said, why aren't you ticking now, um, 
that was her way of saying pretty much that she doesn't believe believe me and um, I that hurts um, it's painful especially when a doctor tells you that um, there are many stories online um, where doctors um, cast like their patients and it's a thing um, not a lot of people know about it though um, it's a sad thing so um, you know if you're lucky to get a doctor that's not in the way of helping you get your treatment and diagnosis and stuff then you're lucky so emotionally with it it's very embarrassing um, it's painful that's another thing um, hmm. the randomness of it bothers me because I never know when it's gonna happen until like a few seconds before it's gonna happen and um, some of them I can suppress like I'm su was suppressing one when I was talking um, but not it's not easy at all it takes <laughs> a lot of focus it makes me very tired um, and uh, it's like holding your when you hold your breath you know you eventually you have to breathe it's like that like eventually I have to tick and um, I haven't been able to um, suppress the nose when I start doing my no tick um, they're so powerful that I can't stop them um, which is um, scary <laughs> um, because I've gone out in public and me screaming no and um, it's like why no what is she screaming no of like I'm just thinking of all the things of that people are thinking about when I'm doing it and um, all of, I'm pretty sure all of its confusion um, because it's no 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 <laughs> back and forth and no 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 you know that in public no no it's ha no no ha it's annoying and um aggravating embarrassing and it's like putting a helmet on you saying look at me look at me um for some reason it's a thing that people are quick to call you a faker over um i don't really know why like honestly you go out in public or around your family even and scream random shit like it doesn't feel good when you get looked at bunny and you know the ticks itself doesn't feel good i know you can't mimic that part but um it's just not fun um but eventually i will find out what it is and that'll be for me um i want answers for myself um it'll be nice to have answers for other people and then i can you know spread awareness for it even more and pinpoint exactly what um it is because there are several tick disorders i only know about tourette's i need to look into other tick disorders but but um I would say whatever this is it's hard to deal with very much emotionally you know um, especially with pain involved with it you know my interstitial cystitis um, caused a lot of trauma in my life and this hasn't really caused trauma in my life but emotionally it's um, I don't know how to explain it it's like a toxic thing it's I hate it. Um, it doesn't make me hate my life, but I do hate it. I don't want to um, have to deal with it, and I know that if it is a tick disorder, if 
the doctor is right, which she most likely is, and um, I'm mostly I, I'm mostly right too with doing my research on it. You know, um, there's very little treatment they can do for it. No. <laughs> um. And um, most of it's like schizophrenia medication or uh, like ADHD medication and. Um, I've taken that stuff before when I was a kid because I do have a diagnosis of ADD. Um, I was diagnosed before they um, put ADHD and ADD under one bubble. When I was diagnosed, they separated them because um, I don't have the hyperactive component to it. And honestly, that's probably because of pain. My brain is very hyperactive. Um, but I wasn't hyperactive in the sense of jumping all around the crash classroom and stuff. So, um, no! When it first started, um, and they were noticeable, I cried a lot. Um, I'm a crybaby, um, so just so you don't know, I'm probably gonna cry during this, or at least be close to tears. Um, I do know that if um, this had happened when I was in school, I have no idea how I would have um, handled it mentally. So the people, like the kids that have Tourette's and go to school and deal with the bullying, like I can't even imagine. Um, when I was in school, I did not have a tough skin at all. Um, when I was in Wheeler, which is a school, a school I got sent to, y'all find, y'all find, no, y'all, no, 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 y'all will find out about that later, um, but, um, when I was in Wheeler, I kind of faked my tough skin, and I really think that that helped, um, I don't know, it's cheesy, but faking it till you make it, um, really helped me. Um, I kept faking, um, confidence, and, um, at first it was totally fake, and now it is, um, only very little fake. <laughs> um, so I'm very proud of that, like, um, being able to put myself in a situation where other people are going to um, make fun of me and even easier for them to make fun of me, you know, by putting videos up like this. Um, I never would have been able to handle that in middle school, you know. And um, so I guess this is just me saying that I'm, if I have to deal with this, I'm glad that it happened in this time of my life. Um, I honestly think I probably would have, um, I don't know, I don't think I would have made it. It's, um, I wasn't strong at all. Um, I had, I spent most of my day not talking, that when I needed to ask for something, um, by the time I talked to the teacher, my voice would be cracky because of how long I was quiet. Um, no one... Um, I didn't talk to anybody and, um, was just there, kind of, um, very easily, um, missed, I guess, probably, um, I don't know, like, not very many people noticed me because of how quiet I was, and the people that did notice me, they noticed me because I was quiet. Um, when I was in middle school, I was called the paper girl because I wore this big jacket and um, I would always like fold origami paper and like roses and, and cranes and stuff, flowers and shit because I was bored in class and so people would call me the paper girl because I always had a big huge jacket full of paper that I could fold and um, I had a point to that. 
like I didn't talk to people yeah I didn't talk to people I just folded roses and shit during lunch or um, when I was done with my work I would or kind of honestly before I, even I was done with my work I would do um, stuff under the table just learning new folds and stuff um, and um, so yeah it took me a while to kind of um, talk myself up about it I guess to myself it took a few months and I'm glad I finally um, I'm, I'm glad that I'm at the point of dealing with it that I am now um, it's still fresh but um, at the end of the day I guess those people don't matter that I see in public that don't know what's wrong with me you know they don't matter and I keep telling myself that or um, I'll ignore people when I'm in public and don't focus on anybody and honestly I think that's dangerous um, I have my own personal reasons why I think that's dangerous not like focusing around on your surroundings just being very totally in enclosed in my mind and not caring about what anybody's doing not paying attention to anything um, but that's how I'm dealing with it I kind of just ignore people and tune them out I guess go in my own world and entertain myself in my brain which is pretty easy um, but I feel like it can be dangerous and eventually I think I'll get to the point where I'll be able to look at somebody that is looking at me funny and look at them back weird or something you know um, instead of like ignoring them and not being being able to look around my surroundings or constantly looking down because when you constantly look down you look like a victim in a target and um, I don't want predators to look at me that way and I know they do um, you know they they notice body language I'm getting into weirdness I'm sorry um, but yeah so um, that was my evolution and um, some ramble of my feelings and um, I want to leave y'all with a quote so I'm gonna go find a quote okay so I found the quote um, this is one of my favorite quotes that I really like and that has personally helped me so hopefully it can help you in some way it is by Lo Tazu I'm probably positively saying that wrong so it's L-A-O T-Z-U and um, he or she <laughs> said um, because one believes in oneself one doesn't try to convince others because one is content with oneself one doesn't need others approval because one accepts oneself the whole world accepts him or her so like always I love you so very much thank you for being alive today and have an amazing day and um, before I forget um, tomorrow is my endoscopy and as in tomorrow I mean the 12th of June so um, look forward to that video I think you're gonna see this video first but we'll see but um, I love you. Bye.